Let me tell you about this girl. Maybe I shouldn't. I'm angry and feel And the name is Brown. Hey, y'all. Hey y'all, what's up? Good morning. Well, it's morning to me. Oh my goodness, y'all. This is the last day that we have here. We are leaving in a few hours. We got to check out at 11 and it is... What time is it? It's 7.41. Um, I've been up for a little while. I'm just super tired super tired um i don't want to get out of this comfortable bed y'all this bed is so freaking comfortable it don't make no sense how comfortable it is so y'all our freaking trip was amazing um it was so lit last night we went to winwood y'all y'all know y'all seen all of that we went to winwood last night winwood is a whole vibe by itself like Winwood is something like I have never seen before. Like I have never seen Winwood. Nothing like Winwood before. So Winwood was dope. And there's the birthday boy. Corey is. <laughs> they can't see you. <laughs> Corey, it's his actual birthday today, y'all. And I fell asleep before I could tell him happy birthday last night. I feel so bad. Terrible. I was supposed to be the first person to say happy birthday, was I? Mm -hmm. I was still the first person to say it. But y'all, last night when I tell y'all I hit this bed, yeah, I, don't know about me. I hit, I don't say that, people are thinking about you. You about to get calls, you already know who about to be bugging you. Um, yeah, I don't like calling me. Yo, friends. I know Juice gonna call me, my dad gonna call me. Um, the usual. But the we people, got in. The people that matter. Yeah, we got in last night, y'all. When I tell y'all, I took a shower and hit this bed and was knocked out. I, love these I like those shorts too, Corey. I like those it's a lot. So now them, you need to get more of. And that shirt you had on last night was a good fit. Yeah, I'm definitely You need to get some more of those. But yeah, y'all. When I tell y'all last night, I hit that shower. I got in his bed. It was curtains. Like. Curtains. Miami wore us out. Yeah, we about to ride home. Shit. We about to ride home. I'm about to throw on that little dress I got. Um, the one I was about to wear the other day when we went. Where did we go? We had went to Publix that, for that short period of time and came back and changed. I throw that dress on. Oh, you got them leftovers. You got that chicken. I got that ramen. Yeah, I'm about to go eat my chicken. For sure. You ain't got nothing with it, though, do you? No, I'm going to eat a little bit of that. Well, how much is left? I think I am. We're going to get something before we leave. We're going to get one more thing we want before we leave. Yeah, we need to. I mean, we got to. We got to eat. <laughs> Yeah. Um, yeah, so we, this is the last day. Um, we're not going to stay too, too long today. We're going to just uh, pack up. Like he said, we're going to go to one more spot and get something good to eat, and then we're going to head out. I think we might do something with Renee. Y'all, my rig is crooked. I tried to put it on. Cause, yeah. So... Um, we are heading out today. I can't, I can't wait to get back home, though, but at the same time, I don't want to leave this bed. <laughs> yeah, we've we been having a good time, but it's still, you know, I'm, it's ready, like, to go, I'm ready to go home. Yeah, I'm ready to go home. I'm oh, ready to. Oh I'm salty a little bit because I came down here specifically wanting to go to cookies so bad. And then I get down here and find out they got a cookies in Orlando. They just opened a cookies in Orlando. That's a good thing. I mean, no, it is a good thing. But I was like, shit, I could have went to the one in Orlando before I came here. I'm going to check it out. But no, they, they, um, 
Where am my chicken? I'll be down there. I wish we had some orange juice. Yeah. I'll be down in a minute. I gotta peel myself up out of this bed. Like, y'all don't understand how much I do not want to get out the bed. I don't want to get up. I don't want to get up. I'm tired. I did end up gluing my nails back on, y'all. It was these. So, the first day, this is why I hate these nails. I'll be telling my friends. I'll be telling my girls about it. Um, Cause they be like, girl, just um, put on those, uh, you know, glue, just glue you on some nails or whatever. And I'll be trying to tell them every time I glue on nails, within that first hour, at least two of them popping off. And I'll be saying that all the time. And what happened? I get down here that first day, I glue on nails. That first day, I lost these three popped off like totally lost i had to, this one was broken in pieces and then these two i don't know how it happened i don't know what i was doing and i'll be like i know i ain't that rough with my hands for me to always every time i put on fake nails the ones you glue on that like it's ridiculous like i can press down on something and it'll pop off and i'm like what kind of glue do i need you know i should use some gorilla glue at this point i don't know but anyway yeah, when we first got down here, these three popped off. Put them back on, like, a day later. Then we went to the club. These two popped off. So I was in the club with these two fingers, no nails. So yesterday, I finally decided to glue the nails back on. And now they on. So we'll just see how long they stay on for. Um, and I got the acrylic ones, too. The acrylic uh kiss nails because they harder they're not super thin i like them i gotta take my medicine we need to take that medicine y'all yeah when i say miami wore us out this is not this is not the um city you come to if you want to just this is the party turn up city like for real it's a it's a party everywhere every freaking where every other establishment is a party like it's crazy um so i'm about to go ahead and get dressed y'all i'm gonna go ahead and find something to wear i'm about to just throw something comfortable on like i said because we driving back home today and I know it's Corey's birthday, but I drove down to Florida and he needs to drive back home because I hate driving. I really wish I could just be a passenger princess, but I understand he drives for a living, so he'd be wanting to relax when he ain't working. But at the same time, I don't like to drive, period. So, but I drove here and I specifically told him I'm driving to Miami so you can drive back home because that's how it goes that's just what it is <laughs> that's what it is but let me get my crusty butt up and get dressed because oh, i'm about to start packing actually i gotta start putting stuff in suitcases so i'm gonna get up and do that um i didn't open the windows y'all the curtains are closed I'm about to get up and open it so I can see them palm trees outside the window. Um, and I, I forgot when we went to the pool the other day, or well, the jacuzzi or whatever. I forgot to do, like, show y'all what the actual pool looked like at this place. But if y'all are interested, I will definitely leave. I'll, matter of fact, what I will do is... I'll just put a screen, I'll just like put a screen recording in here of the hotel and the property so y'all can see it. And if y'all want to stay here, when y'all come, y'all can stay here. This place had a good price. The, the price, I can't even talk. 
the price point for these these hotels or whatever or I don't know what they call them hotel villas um, is very amazing compared to the other prices around here now we are about 15 to 20 minutes from the, sh the like the beach like South Beach area um, but we like 15 to 20 minutes from Linwood downtown like we're not far from anything like if you driving you know what I'm saying um, so I'll leave the information so y'all can see the hotel we stayed at um, if we come back I would I will definitely get this place another shot it was a few things that I did not like about it and I will let y'all know that so hotel review real quick so what I did not like about this hotel is like granted the bathrooms are huge I love how they got the separate shower and a separate toilet the um, tub did not work properly the, all the jets didn't blow out and on top of that for some reason we never got to the bottom of it but that I ain't gonna get into it deep but that tub we just didn't, wasn't able to get in because it wasn't it just I, I, it wasn't properly working not just the jets it just wasn't doing what it's supposed to do the shower I feel like with the shower there should be places for you to put your soap. It should be places for you to hang your wash rag or your loofah. And it's not. So it's like you go in there. I guess they just want you to use day soap and not your soap. But I just didn't like that it wasn't nowhere to actually set your things. You know what I'm saying? Um, I have my body wash, my soap, my loofah, and a wash rag. And I don't have nowhere to put anything like but the, the ground. Like, no. I don't like that. Um, what else did I like? Oh, usually I travel with wash rag, my own wash rags, because I use a lot of wash rags. Like I'm the type of person that I don't repeat wash rags. Some fun fact about me: I use a lot of wash rags every day. Like I'll use clean wash rag every time I need a wash rag. I'll get a clean one. I don't use the same one. So that's what I do at home. So here, I was supposed to bring, like, I usually, when we travel, I usually bring, like, a stack of wash rags with me because I like to have my own shit. Um, and here, they literally wanted us to use two wash rags the whole time we was here. Like, we called literally every day, like, hey, can we get a couple more wash rags? You know what I'm saying? Just give me a lot up front so I ain't got to keep calling. You know, and they just literally down there refused to give us more wash rags like it was pulling like pulling teeth like I would call in the morning and be like hey can I get some wash rags and they wouldn't we wouldn't get them until later that night if I ask for eight they'll bring six or four if I ask for you know I'm like well can I have like ten wash rags because you know it's a we a couple like it's two couples here and they was like, oh, we can bring eight. And then they'll bring four or six or something. And we looking like, okay, like, if I wash up two, three times a day, I'm going to need, I want fresh water. And I feel like I should get that being at a hotel because that's how I am at my house. If I wash up, I, like I said, I use a new rag every time. But, you know, everybody ain't like me. You know, and I guess the hotel people just whatever. But I was like, whatever. So I didn't like that. So those were the two things I didn't like. Other than that, I feel like this hotel was um, was real decent. Like, um, you know, you did have to pay for parking. Uh, parking was $12 a day to park here, which is bananas. Yeah, but I feel like, though... Um, while we sitting here talking i really feel like i didn't talk to y'all enough during this trip i just wanted to show y'all like i was just basically like making sure i got footage to show y'all like what y'all excuse my wig if it keeps sliding over because i really just do it on and talk to y'all it was not on at all but i'm like i can't go on camera looking like anything 
I gotta, I gotta look like something, you know, I can't just be out here looking crazy, but, um, yeah, so, I just wanted to show y'all, you know, our trip and document it and, okay, all right, y'all, my bad, my battery about to die, I'm about to put this phone on the charger and I'm, uh, um, I mean, not phone, Lord Jesus, the battery is about to die. I'm going to put this camera on the charger. And then hopefully it's charged. Because I only think I got two batteries left. And I do want to record on the way home. So I'm about to put y'all on the charger. I'm about to get dressed. Go eat. And I'll see y'all in a little bit. On a spaceship, now I'm a space cadet. Space cadet. What? Do it, do it. No, cool. I'm a space cadet. Uh. On a spaceship, now I'm a space cadet. Big white mansion in my habitat. Aim a lot of sticks like a lady tag. Fuck a rich bitch, have a rich set. Smoke a lot of trees, need a weed plant. Did take all in where the lean at. Sleeping on these G's is a bean bag. Got me going jeans cause I'm cool right. Checking from my fan life is fantastic. I was broke as hell sleeping on the mattress. Looking like a hell when nobody had Hot shells jumping out this in me automatic. Okay, y'all, so I am just putting my clothes on. And I know I'm not really matching. I do this little thingy thing on right here on top of this little dress that I got because I'm cold. They got this house so cold, but I'm gonna wear it anyway. So I got my stuff. Let me show y'all. I'm not the type of person I usually put suitcases on the beds, but this ain't my bed. So <laughs> I'm about to put it on here so I can finish packing. All my shoes and stuff that I brought is in here. I had all of my bags right here that like, you know, so what I'm doing is basically just putting this stuff back in um, the suitcase. I'm gonna try to let y'all get a good angle. Um, I don't know where to put y'all at. I don't know where to put y'all. I'm gonna put y'all right here, I guess. <clears throat> and we just gonna rock out like this. That's perfect. Even though the battery is about to die. So, we need to... I'm going to leave these socks out. My hair thing. I don't know what this bag is for. Okay, y'all, so last night I had put on these shoes. These shoes are so cute to me. Like, I absolutely love them. And we was walking through Wynwood, and I don't know if y'all can see, but I accidentally stepped in, like, a puddle. Y'all see that? Oh, the slightest thing. I was like, when I, wore, when I put these shoes on, I was like, I don't know why I put these shoes on. But I wanted to wear them because I bought them and I ain't wear them. So I was like, I'm going to wear my shoes. Yeah, I'm like, I'm gonna wear my shoes. So, that's what I did. These little Shein bags come in handy, okay? I like the fact that I put my, um, put my shoes in here.
I didn't even wear my white heels, which is fine. Let me change this battery out, y'all. Hold on. Okay, y'all. So, I just discovered something crazy. I had my camera plugged up in this plug over here. And it was not charging the whole time. That's why my battery is dying. And then also, I could have had my phone charging. Whatever. Okay, let me see. That's that. Let me put this in here. I ain't even took my vitamin. I took my vitamins maybe one day. Oh, I had to take my medicine too. I took my vitamins my first day and didn't take them again. I don't know if Corey took his either. To, be, to tell you the truth. Bag. This is a good travel bag because I didn't tell y'all. So this is smell proof as well. So you can't smell you can't smell nothing inside of it, <laughs> which is awesome. So that's going up at the top. Let's see. We have a lot to pack up. I need this, so I'm not gonna put that on yet. Perfumes right there. I know y'all seeing me, but y'all not really seeing me packing. <laughs>
I popped my little fake nose ring and I ain't wear it at all. At all. This, this little fake nose ring sucks because it do not stay. It don't stay on. Get money no matter the cost. Having some water, I'm having some boats. Got that dope dick, that show loss. He's a worker and I am a boss. Let me rap to you real quick. I want to enjoy the luxury of life. Yeah, I know I need to have a for real, real, real. Okay guys, so we are all packed up. I'm in the kitchen. I just warmed over my leftover chicken from, where was this from? Where was this chicken from? Shoot, where'd we go? I got chicken. Oh, that was from the um, restaurant, the uh, Peter Thomas restaurant, bar one, uh, yesterday. So I'm about to eat that leftover piece of chicken. And I'm about to walk through the room one more time to make sure we ain't forget nothing. And here, yeah, let's look. So this is it. This is the room. All of our stuff is pretty much gone, except for Corey. That's the last of his stuff, his phone over there. Um, we got everything. I never looked under the bed. We got everything. So you just need to get your phone and your stuff. I already looked in the closet. We looked in the bathroom. So we good. I just got a couple of things I need to take downstairs. Renee? Oh, you got your, your clothes. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, y'all. So, yeah. And we didn't have anything down here at all. But... I do have these two bags, so we bought some paper towels, those, our bottle of Zwan, we towed that up, um, I got a bottle of Taylor Port. we drank this bottle last night, me and Renee did, let's see how much of that, and um, we drank all of this, we drank all of that. Then we had another bottle of Zwan. Then I was Renee's down there. She also has some um, crown, because we mixed our teleport with crown. That was good. All right, these are the only bags right here that I need to take. And then, this is trash. I got my own. Um, Camera batteries charging because they didn't charge last night. My phone charging. And yeah, we about to take this to the car. One more trip. One more trip to the car. One more than one, bro. Or you do. made this go too long. It's probably going to be all rough now. I see. I put it on a minute. I should have been like 10 seconds. Mm-hmm. That's good though. This chicken had a good flavor. I will give them that. The waffles was like, them waffles could have been a lot better. They looked like some stuff you took out the freezer. And unfroze. Mm -mm. Those were some frozen waffles that they warmed up. Like, that's disappointing. But chicken is good. Everything else was good. Your stuff was good. Right. <laughs> that, that grip all that I gotta learn how to get my grip my grip to be good but they don't be that crisp 
me and being smooth. Mm -hmm. They be creamy, but not that smooth. They be too gritty still. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's because we take the bottom eating them too fast, maybe they gotta sit longer. Some people say you can wash it and rinse it and make it creamy. Maybe. Oh, polenta. Polenta is creamy, so it might be polenta. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get some polenta and make some grits like that. Because you don't want the grits to be gritty, you want it smooth and creamy. Not creamy and gritty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You want to smooth. <laughs> I still want to go back over there for dinner one day. Next time we come, we're going to do dinner because. What did I do with my nail glue? I literally just put it in here. Did I put it on this side? Oh my God. We had so much fun though. Yeah, I was looking at him when I seen that price. I was like, I'm moving right along. <laughs> I've been wanting some lamb chops though. Hey, for real. Oh, those me so horny wings. That's crazy. That's why I hate wearing these nails. I keep breaking them. And I'm not even doing nothing though. Extra to, for them to keep breaking. Hey y'all. So we are. We just checked out of the hotel. Paradise Grill. I thought that said Piata for a second. I was about to be like, oh my god. <laughs> I was about to be like, you sir. <laughs> but okay, y'all. So we just checked out the hotel. We on our way now to the gas station. That was so thirsty. We on our way now to the gas And then the police right there. Uh, we about to fill up at this good old Wawa. And... It is so beautiful over here. This whole neighborhood we in is just beautiful. I love they palm trees. It's, they palm trees down here is different from our palm trees. I don't care. They just look more grand or something. Like, I'm going to show y'all once we go past the other ones again. Damn. Yeah, what's going on in this Wawa? Look at the Wawa, y'all. Took a full Wawa. Crowd. I forgot about that paper. That's the hell of a distractor on the windshield. Dang, there ain't even no open pumps. Okay. Now they know Shay should have two pumps. There's going one right here. Yeah, yeah. that's the wrong side. What about on the other side of that car? No, it's a car over there. Shit. These couple pumps over there, they all on the wrong side. I'm just about to back in. Well, he about to go to this one. Yeah, go to the other side before this car get it. Yeah, that's still going on the wrong side. No, the pump is on this side. If you go over here to this one. This one. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. And we look. They was about to get it. Look. They was about to get it. And she was about to she turn it. She thought she was about to get it. <laughs> A pigeon? Look at the blue tree. That's what I'm saying. I saw a pigeon. <laughs> in Florida and Miami. I'm surprised we didn't see more lizards. More iguanas. I mean, uh, iguanas. More iguanas. Them iguanas. We seen a couple of iguanas, but not a lot. Not a lot. I'm used to this. I know. I, I hate that button. Open. I hate that button. Yeah, but I think we're doing one more thing and then we getting out of here. Um, that's it. That's it. That's it. I'm just, y'all, y'all just don't even know how happy I am for this weekend. Like, it went so good. It went so good. I can't wait to show y'all. Well, y'all gonna see it. I'm, I'm, y'all already seen it. 
up to this point. I'm talking about I can't wait to show y'all. <laughs> y'all already seen that. Hmm. But, yeah. So, I'm going to turn the camera around when we drive in so I can show y'all some more. That's what I wanted to do since I've been here. But we've been riding presidential with them all the time. I'm so happy they, um, they was cool with driving, you know. Because at first we was going to just try to Uber everywhere. But they was cool with driving a car. So we hopped in. And, um, yeah, it's been lit. <laughs> so we literally, um, we literally just been rolling with them presidential style. Okay. Um, I'm kind of hungry. I guess before we jump on the road, we might stop and get like a small bite to eat. A small bite. Because I know he ate his leftovers from last night. We went to that um, Mexican place. Well, it was a taco place, but they had that, um, he had got that, um, Berea, Berea, Roman, that Rom, Roman, Berea, Roman stuff or whatever. So he got that. Oh, that's all we needed. That's good. Because we was already sitting there halfway. No, he took us a half a tank to get down here, y'all. Which was cool. A half a tank. And we ain't gonna need that much to get back home. Now we about to head back to reality. Back to a reality. I was just telling them we head back to reality. 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 No more vacation. No. Shit. We ain't gotta go back to work. To work. Yeah, we still yeah, got a week. Ain't that time. I'm just saying we going home. Oh yeah, they coffee drinkers. They need their coffee. I should have gone in there. No, it's gonna take too long. I need to bite before we get on the road. Road. Yeah, that's all. I'm we need to find a place to go because I want to get something. Some somewhere cheap. I don't want nothing cheap. <laughs> I want some good food. Well, we gonna find some good food before we get out. Oh yeah, we was talking about that earlier. I don't even know why. I said that we're gonna find us a nice restaurant to go to after we go to this next spot we going to so so we can go in and everything ain't no rush Look at me, where she wanna be, call me Freaky T, off the leash, I feel like a dog, I can't have the flea, keep it pee, never leave the you, but you needed me, I got cream, make up pretty clean, boost your self esteem, I, I get tight in the moment, so I feel like baby king, first and back, step on something, so I just like baby D, bitch I'm cold, pussy ass so that you know it's giving cream, I got hoes, when it's not enough, come fill the nigga team, I got chills, Push a pound of weed, need a brand new weed. Kill my dog, pussy nigga, please. I go key on the weeds. He don't go, why you telling me? Just let a nigga see. Honestly, I'm not feeling you, and you not feeling me. Keep it G. Welcome at that age, just let that nigga be. TLC, no, I'm finna creep my phone on D and D. That's my song. What that did to beat, I rather did to sleep. You ain't P, but you know you beat to me. He beat as me. I need J. I tell that nigga, I tell that nigga. He like a baby, carry that on my head, on my head. I just think it's up, cause shawty got me shows Got me pleasure all day, or I give that bitch a news I'm in the mood, I'm in my house Give a fuck up at my face, cause from my face You can't be touched, yet I know that nigga is I know that I'm rich, but that's my project bitch But when you see me something to my bitch, she has switched 
give it to me something to my bitch she gon' switch Shark or something? A dolphin, a dolphin? or something? <laughs> y'all saw too? No? It's down to your right. It was near that, that orange pool. Okay, y'all. So, oh, this sun is sunny. Okay, y'all. So, we are now at Condo That's right on Miami Beach. This is, I think this is North Miami is considered right on Collins Avenue. And it is beautiful. So they wanted us to see it. Um, yeah. This is dope. There's my girl Renee. Look at how cute and tropical. <laughs> and this is one of the homes that Renee sold. I wasn't. I didn't want to tell all your business. So. <laughs> I don't tell who, who I sold it to, but yes, this is a property that we sold so this in the Miami is, area. <laughs> yes, this is a property that Renee and her oh, husband with the sold. Okay. Yeah. And yes. So if y'all looking to buy a house, hit my girl Renee up or a condo or anything pertaining to home ownership. Look up Renee and Dominic because they out here doing a thing. But yes, this is a property that they sold and they're going to show us the inside in a minute. But yeah, I'm about to go in the shade. Yeah. They got what? They got boats where it come through here. Uh -huh. uh, no, it stays in the bay. It don't oh. really go down. Yeah, I gotta get out of that sun. Okay, here we go. We are back out. And that's the swimming pool, y'all, over there. I don't know if y'all can see it. Yeah, so basically, Renee is gonna take us a tour of this beautiful property that she just sold. And I'm excited to see it. Oh, shit. We locked out. You need a card? Or a key? How would you get back in the car reader? It's a key. It's an exit sign that way, but is there any way to get in this way? I need some lip gloss. Oh, she's about to do it. That's so sweet. We almost got locked out. We almost got locked out. Oh, you got it. I think people walk on yoga mats and things. Thank you so Thank much. You. <laughs> What is these marble floors right Tell us about the property. <laughs> Tell us about the property. Okay, so this is 5700 Collins Avenue, also called Millionaire's Row. Millionaire's Row. <laughs> we own Millionaire's okay. Row. This is a property on the intercoastal side. So it's not directly on the beach, but um, you'll see when we go up the 
property has an intercoastal view, which is great because it looks better at night because you can see all the way down to downtown, which is on versus on the beach side. It's nice you can walk right down to the beach, but at night it's completely dark. Oh, so, that's why it's better. Okay. Yeah, because okay. you see all the city lights. Yeah, and that's dope. And all that beautiful stuff. So that's dope. our preference is the intercoastal because we can walk across the streets at the beach. <laughs> yeah, that's dope. Yeah, that's a good idea because I wasn't thinking I wasn't thinking well, why wouldn't you want a beach view but the intercoastal is the view is better the, the view access is, better. is not but it's still easy what floor are we on? 11th 11th floor y'all so okay I'm about to turn it off until we get inside yeah that do look like it right there that one this one right here, this one with that pool. Yellow. No, right here with the pool, the palm trees and the pool, like coming to the water right there. Where? Like with the little. The pool right there looks like it might be like a, a you know that pool right there. The, the pool. Affinity pool. Yeah, that's affinity pool. Oh, I see what you're saying. With the, yeah, she's talking about her. Okay, y'all, this is the view from her this patio. I love, I love y'all. This I is love. so beautiful. I got patio chairs coming up. Nice. Yeah, this is better than the beach view. I see. So this, this view is, I see why she said this is better than a beach view, because at night you have downtown Miami over here. I don't know if y'all can see it because it's kind of hazy. Yeah, so you got all of these buildings lit up at night. The house is lit up. And at night when you look at the beach, it's all dark. So I can see why this is the better view. This is amazing. Other people's stuff. This is beautiful. So this is what my friends sold, y'all. They just sold this, and that's amazing. So the inside of the house is empty, y'all. Um, the people literally are just moving in that live here. So you wanna know what? Yeah, you got something right here. This is a golf course over there. I wonder if that's that famous golf course. Might that might be that famous golf course. I mean, it looks like it. It ain't no work in the world, but that's for sure. Yeah, I'll be out here all day. Like, I'll just be sitting out here. Y'all see these houses, though? Look at this one. Is that their balcony, too? No. I don't think so. Oh, God. I thought they just stretched that balcony for a Look like you got these. What is these traffic travertine floors? Okay, y'all. So this is one of the closets. Yeah. One of the closets. They have. This is nice. Walk-in closet. Nice. That's the bathroom. This is the That's the shower. Ooh, that's a heat. That is that's heated. This is heated and it's high prayer towels. They got big mirrors in here. I like that. Don't talk about my outfit, y'all. I got this on because I was cool. It was cold. Um, yeah, this is how it looks. Is this the door? Yep, that's the door. But like I said, the people are just moving in. This is real. But I actually like this right here, this full length. That's dope. I like that. Okay, y'all. So we are leaving the um, that condo, and we are about to actually head out. So we about to go and find something good to eat, and then we getting up out of here. But we gonna hit some blocks. Yeah, we need to head north. The problem is right now we don't know where to go. We don't know where to go to get something to eat. So we just about to look. But we about to ride around. We in South Beach. Look at all these condos, y'all. Oh, y'all hear the, <laughs> the ambulance? All these condos. The ambulance. The ambulance. They know I say ambulance. Somebody already said something about me. 
Ambulance. Somebody said, I love how you say ambulance. <laughs> Listen, I said ambulance my whole life, and I ain't about to change it now. Ambulance. Ambulance, that's what I call it. Alright, I'm rolling this window up. I was trying to give y'all a clear view, but we need some air. The humidity is crazy. The humidity down here is insane. It's ridiculous. Set up, we stood up there for like what five minutes? It felt like I'm sweating like a pig. You're sweating like a pig. You're sweating like a pig. Okay. If y'all know where that's from, it's from Gordon Ramsay. Uh, French pig. What was it? Um, Hell's Kitchen. Uh, <laughs> that man was like, You're sweating like a pig. You French pig. No, the French pig was on the other show, was on uh, Kitchen Nightmares. Uh, yeah, we watch a lot of Gordon Ramsay, y'all. So we like to quote movies. Who else like to quote movies? We ain't the only ones. Look at all these jacks, y'all. That one is pretty. Yeah, tropical colors. Look at this big baby right here. Iron lady. That's a that's a lady's boat. She said she is an iron lady. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Y'all see that? This over here by Fountain Blue, ain't it? Once again, it's about to die. I'm having battery problems today. I'm about to try to plug this stuff in. I'll be back, y'all. Hey, y'all. So, we decided we're going to drive up to Hollywood Beach. Um, Hollywood is about a half an hour. So, it's like a half an hour drive straight up Collins. Um, so, we're just driving, checking out the scenery and all these, like, literally the beach is right there. You can see it. You can't see it. Y'all can't see it, but through the trees, but what the, the fuck are they doing? Oh, I kinda here? can see it. It's just all kind of shit going on. You can see it a little bit if this car wasn't in the way. So the beach is right there. And then we're just on the street that's parallel to the beach. And we're gonna take this all the way up to Hollywood Beach. And we gonna find something to eat before we jump up out of here. But yeah, the scenery is just really nice. I just love riding through here. This is a whole vibe. Um, it's dope. So, we'll be back. I'll show y'all a little bit, but I know y'all don't wanna just see scenery the whole time. Oh, let me see. Y'all can see. There's trees in a way. I thought y'all was. The worst thing. Yeah, you can't see nothing. You can't even. You see. can't see, but no, back there I did see. It was like uh, it was a space, and you could see the water. But they got them trees in the way right there. But they, it was a car in the way. I'm like, damn. Why that car gotta be in the way? As soon as you roll that window down, it get instantly hot. <sighs> Look at this. But all they Publix is crazy on the street like this. 
This one got the uh, escalators. The other one didn't have the escalators. That Publix that was around the corner from our hotel was, it was nice. It was nice. Brand new. It was different. Never been in a Publix with a parking garage before, so. They had lemon pepper wings. I'm mad. Oh, yeah. They had lemon pepper wings in a Publix. Like, y'all know where y'all go in Publix to buy the chicken from? In the, in the section where they cook the chicken? They be having, in ours, they have the lemon pepper rotisserie chicken. But they don't never have the lemon pepper wings. And this one, they had lemon pepper wings, y'all. Like, I guess they be they doing it like, different in Miami. They have like half chickens and quarter chickens. And yeah, half chickens, quarter chickens. They don't have that in ours. And if they do have it in ours, I don't never see it. Yeah, empanadas and shit. Oh, yeah, they sure did have empanadas. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But this little strip is cute, y'all. Look. Nobody, like don't nobody don't nobody drive right down here at all don't nobody drive right and don't and then where you can't see the beach they got it blocked off but don't nobody drive right don't nobody park right don't nobody care that you driving they'll still try to drive in your lane that you driving in this traffic is about a thousand times worse than Orlando's traffic so if you can't handle Orlando's traffic don't come to Miami. That's all I gotta say. And drive through here. It's, it's crazy. These people are nuts. But, yeah, we got about 20 more minutes to go, so I'll see y'all in 20 minutes. Okay, y'all, so we just been riding, and we pretty much almost there. We about six minutes away, but we right now we're in Hollandale, uh, beach and it's cute like all these houses we've been around has been so cute million dollar houses look at this thing right there that's so nice Yeah, so we decided to go to another taco spot, y'all. We love tacos. And I feel like this one is going to be really good. Um, so we're going to another taco spot before we get out of here. And hit the road, the diplomat. I remember we rode, we rode here when we came for your birthday last time when we was in Hollywood. This is the same strip we was on, I believe. Because I remember this. Yeah, I think I remember that too. We're going to be right next to the uh, Margaritaville, too. The Diplomat. I remember the Diplomat. Yeah. But it's like, I, can't, I, I wouldn't get tired of this, though. This is dope. I like this. The views. All the big buildings. We're getting close. We're five minutes away. Hey guys, so we are now at Hollywood Beach. We about to go to this taco spot. I think this is it right here, but look at the view. Come on, the car right there. This is spot. You wanna go back to the car? Yeah. Hold on. Hubby needs to change his stuff. Oh, we didn't even put the, um. Okay guys, now we are back, what? Oh, what is that? Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. So we are here. I think this is the spot we're going to. We're going to see. But we on the beach. It is so beautiful. When you was at when we was at the beach yesterday, you was like, um, you just felt a peace come over you, like. It's like it just feels so fucking good to just be on this beach, like any beach. 
It's amazing. Oh, and I thought it was that one. I don't know, it looks like a bar. This is the place. When I tell y'all, well, since we've been over here, we have been smelling weed. I smell marijuana. We have been smelling it non-stop since we've been in Florida. It's everywhere. This is beautiful. It ain't crowded over here either. It do look like it's about to rain. Especially down that way. Like it's bad. Good thing. Let's hurry up and eat. So this is the spot we're going to right here, y'all. They got a whole bunch of little beach shops. This is a little boardwalk. Um, Margaritaville is right there. I did want to walk by Margaritaville.
But we decided to walk. Um, I think this is Margaritaville, so I want to see it, and I wanted Corey to see it. If this ain't it right here, we we going back. Cause if y'all can see behind us, there's a storm coming. Look how pretty that water is. Look at the blueness. You can see the blueness in it. Yeah, this is it right here. I hope they don't be like you need a wristband to get in, <laughs> or not a wristband, but like a car. They got a lot. See, they got a whole bunch of stuff on their trip, man. We would have been eating all kind of places over we here. Well, Bernie, we should have came back here. Yeah, this is it. So this is Margaritaville. They got a tiki bar. Oh, a beach bar. Yeah, I don't care about the police. They just yeah. One thing about here, y'all, it seems like these people, they blaze up anywhere. You smell weed everywhere. You smell you weed literally everywhere. We gotta walk right through this little alley. Yeah, to get back to the car. Yeah, but I just wanted to show Corey Margaritaville. Hey, yeah, I don't know. I don't think we can get back here. Can we? Uh oh. There's lizards in there. Look at that lizard. They got it closed. We can't get back in. And they didn't say you gotta have a car. Yeah. But you know they gotta access to the beach though. So. Ah. Uh, let's go. I was going to the sidewalk part. Well, that was the beach, y'all. We just stopped and got tacos. All right. Now we're heading home. Now we're heading back to the crib. I don't even want to go home yet. Right, I don't even want to go yet. After seeing this. <laughs> yeah, like, we're going to stay at Margaritaville next time, okay? Let me tell you about this girl. Maybe I shouldn't. I'm not even feeling any name of Bradshaw. See, we've been making love constantly. That's why my eyes are a shade. Black burgundy. The way that we kiss is unlike any other way that I be kissing when I'm kissing what I miss. Won't you listen? Brown sugar, babe. I guess high off your love, I don't know how to be. Brown sugar. 